Hi there, and in this tutorial we're going to be taking a look at some more features of uh, um, Xcode and we're going to be looking at the storyboard function. Uh, I've done a tutorial on this previously but I felt I would update it as the previous tutorial was for Xcode 4.2. So this is storyboards in Xcode 4.5. It's actually very very similar, there's not much of a difference. One of the things though is the auto layout function which supports both the iPhone 4 um, and uh, well 4s and before models and the iPhone 5 um, two different screen sizes means that you need to be able to support two different layouts and you can see here I can switch between the two so you can test your app and you can view it in both um, different form factors in the previous tutorial I covered how we actually make these views resize and reposition however we like so what we're going to do now is look at how we can begin to create our user interface so um, I've dragged in two new view controllers from down the right hand side here from our objects um, option. So I've dragged in two view controllers. This one here, I'm going to hold down control, click and drag from that button across to this view controller. And you can see there then you get an, um, a choice of options for different segues. Now as we have no navigation or tab bar controller here, what we want to do is select the modal type of transition. You see now I select that and you'll see here then modal and I can choose what type of animated transition I want to apply. So if I was to go for flip horizontally when we run this now in our simulator we press button 1 you'll see it goes to the next view and it flips the view over horizontally. From button 2, we drag down to this view, we'll choose modal, but this time we'll choose to cover vertically. So if we run this in our simulator, you'll now see with button 2, it's covered vertically. Next thing is, we need to be able to get back to our root view. Now, there's various different ways you can do that. You could embed one of these into a navigation controller. Um, but also, we don't want to do that because I want to have this customized bar at the top. If I was to use a navigation controller, if I drag one into the view here, you'll see now we get this um, um, standard iOS bar at the top, which can be customized, but that would be the topic of another tutorial. So we'll move that, and I want to keep this kind of customized look with this, uh, maybe it could be a graphic that I'm using up there. So what we'll do now is create a button in this view and we'll call this our back button. Now I need to go to uh, create file new objective C class. We need to create a new UI view controller class and we'll call this view 2, view controller, create, go over to our storyboard, now we need to tell this view, or this view controller to use that class, so go across to our um, helper bar on the right hand side here, and we want to change this to our view 2, view controller class. So now when we open up the assistant editor, we'll see here, uh, there's our view to controller. Now we'll create an action from this button. This will be the back action. Set it as an action. Go to our implementation file. And here, open square brackets, self dismiss view controller animated yes and nothing to do on completion so that will be nil so now when we run this in our simulator when we go to this view we press our back button it'll take us back to our original view so this is how you would set it up using a modal type transition 
Now let's say we want to utilize the um, tab bar function for this view here. So we would go to um, editor embedding tab bar controller. Now we can remove that modal transition and move it instead to come to there. So modal, we'll set it as this time a cross dissolve. Now you can see here we have this uh, tab bar view controller. So when we run this in our simulator, if we press button one, we're taken to our view, which we can go back. If we press button two, see here now we're taken to our tab bar controller. We only have one tab in there. So to create additional tabs, that's very easy. We just drag in another view. And we connect this to our tab bar controller relationship view controllers. So we'll call these tab 1, tab 2. And so that we can easily identify them, I'll change the background color of tab 1 to blue, change the background color of tab 2 to light gray. So now when we run this, button 1 performs our modal segue. Button 2 performs a modal segue to our tab bar controller where we can then select tab 1 or tab 2. Of course, we may want to go back from here to our um, first view. So again, you could do that by implementing a button which would be dismiss the modal view controller. So we place this in here. So again, we'll need to create a new UI view controller subclass. Call this one tab two. Create. Go back to our storyboard. Now I want to tell tab two to use the tab two view controller subclass. Same thing, we want to connect this button. This will be our back button action. Change that to back also. So now, if we place in the same code, let's see what happens. So self, dismiss, view controller, animated yes, completion nil. Now we'll run that. And there we go. It takes us back to our original view. So we have button one, do it performing a modal segue to a regular view. Button two performs a modal segue to a tab bar controller. We have a back button, which takes us back to the beginning. And finally, we'll drag in a navigation controller. And we can connect this one to button three. Connect with a modal type transition. We'll make this one to cover vertical. So now we'll see button one takes us to our blank view. Button two takes us to the tab bar controller. And button three takes us to a navigation type view controller. 
to create back buttons here. It's all done automatically for us actually. We just drag in another view, connect it, Now these all go in sequence, so we'll now connect this one. Via a push type. So now We can push on this new view when we select a button. So let's drag a button in, remove that. We need to drag from the button across and say push. There's a button and it pushes on the new view. And the back button is automatically placed in because we're using the UI view controller, so this type of um, feature is, is uh, baked in. It's automatically added by iOS. Of course, you may want to get back to our previous view, so if we call this one next, that'll take us to our next view. We'll create another button, which will be our another back button. So again, here we will create a new view controller subclass and we'll call this um, nav1 view controller create same thing then we need to tell this particular view controller to use that from over here Nav1 view controller, and the same thing, connect our back button as an action. And here, self, dismiss view controller, animated yes, completion nil. Run this again in the simulator, and here we go. Button 1 takes us to our blank view, button 2 takes us to the tab bar controller, button 3 takes us to a navigation controller, we get the back button here at the top, and our back button takes us back to our original view. So there you go, that's very briefly an introduction to how you can use storyboards and the interface builder. So you can see it's very very easy um, and quick to build up some quite complex um, navigation for your application by using storyboards and the interface builder and uh, some very simple one line of code to dismiss um, modally presented view controllers. Remember you can't have a, you can't have a push type um, presentation between these two views because you can only use the push type presentation when it's embedded into a navigation view controller then you can use the push type if you're just going from one view controller to another with no type of navigation stack then in those cases you need to use a modal type 